Hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this video, we want to see how we can write a text on a sphere. And obviously, you can see we can also give it a thickness, uh, change the size, and also the radius of the sphere, obviously, and the location on the sphere. So this short lesson will show you uh, how you can do that easily in Grasshopper. Okay, first of all, what we want to do, let me just turn off the algorithm so you can learn it step by step. Uh, what we want to do here is to use the ngon plugin. So if you go to the ngon and in the uh, polygon here, you can see the text. So what we want to do here is to use this text component and uh, the first input is the point uh, location. It's a plane. Uh, obviously, you can give it a plane. For example, if I go to the Parms menu and define a plane here and give it to the L, you can see that it's in a plane. So if you give it a point, what's going to happen is that it's going to assume it's an XY plane and draw it on the ground. Uh, you can see that I can also change the location easily. The next input is the text we want to do. Uh, you can just double click and with two forward slashes have a panel and write your text. For example, example text and we will have a new text inside uh, the output. Okay, the next one is the size of the text. Obviously, you can change that too. And for the B, you can see it's a true for a bold font. And uh, if I just use a toggle, T-O-G, uh, you can use this toggle to put to true and false. So the font is going to change to singular uh, line text or with thickness just by using this true false for the font. Uh, okay, after we do that, uh, we have the curves here and we want to put this on a sphere. You can obviously make a sphere by going to the surface and use a primitive sphere and give a number slider to define a radius. Uh, the most important thing is to use the splop components. Uh, you can find it in transform and in the morph we have this splop component. Let's talk about this one. Uh, the first input is the geometry we want to deform. So obviously we want to give these curves. Let's just move them over here. So we want to put the text on the sphere, the G input. The P is the plane of deformation. Uh, because uh, the location of the curves is going to be on this point, we're going to use the same point for the P, okay? Uh, the third input is the surface you want to wrap it. Obviously, we have to give the surface the sphere. And because we want to use an MD slider, which I'm going to explain, we have to right-click and reparameterize the surface. So it's uh, what's happening here is that, assume that this is the sphere, Okay, uh, it's going to be from zero to one in the U direction. And zero to one in the V direction. So you can control uh, all the sphere location, right? So remember that you have to right click and reparameterize for the UV. Uh, you can just double click and search for MD slider and give it to the input. Remember, you have to reparameterize it. And now this is going to define the location of the text. Uh, that's it. Uh, because we don't want to get messed uh, with the bottom of the sphere, you can see that I have double clicked the MD slider and put the X and Y domain between 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. Because if we have like a zero, it's going to go down here, which is not going to give you good results. Just change this if you want to, double clicking on the MD slider. Okay, now that we have this, uh, we can also give this a thickness, uh, just like a custom preview for the curve. Let me explain that, how you can do that by using another plugin, which is called human. Uh, in the human plugin, you can see that we have a custom preview line uh, line weights in the display. I'm going to use that and give the output to here. The geometry we want to see. Uh, the second input is the shader. Just search for swatch and give a input. Now you can change the color. 
And the thickness obviously is a number slider. If you put this to true and false, it's going to put this to an absolute uh, dimension or not. It's not really that important, but you can also change that. For the sphere, I've used a custom preview from the display, custom preview, and uh, just give that to the sphere if you want to change the color. And also some transparency, you can do that here. That's it. You can also go to the surface and give it a pipe if you want to. And give it a radius. And then finally, again, use a custom preview if you want to. Make it like that. Okay. But anyway, you can just choose between these different methods and get the final results. Okay, that was the technique of SPLOP and also the NGON plugin text to put a text on a sphere. Uh, I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions, just ask below. And remember to like and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.